Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Abyssal Throne. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So as you guys know, I already have a guide video out on this dungeon, but this is a do's and don't version of that guide. Now, basically in the do's and don't version, I go really in depth with the mechanics and give you tips and tricks you can do to help ease the dungeon. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a buff and a grab in the dungeon now as you know this boss hp is a lot now if you do the mechs correctly the boss will suffer mech damage and we will be going into that further into the video so the first thing you want to do is you want to grab the boss at the start now when you grab the boss at the start you will push him into his mechanic phase now the boss goes into mechanics when he's at 90 percent so if you can just grab him and just burst him to 90% phase just to skip out his normal boring rotation, that will be good and it will help with DPS in the end. Now if you don't have a grab, you can just go in and just DPS him and just get him to 90%. Now, once you get to 90%, one person in your party, which is the furthest, will get a mark above their head. Now, this mark looks like a big green wheel above their head, and it will be on them for 20 seconds. Now, that person needs to step on one of the four pads that circle the room. Now, there's currently four pads in the room, and only one of them will be activated, meaning only one of them will lit up. This is the one that will remove the debuff on you. If you don't get to that pad within 20 seconds, you will explode. Now, this explosion is a big wide area explosion that will kill your party members and it will also kill you if you don't have enough HP to withstand the damage. Now, when you do step on the pad, a ball or a orb will start to go to the boss. Now, when this orb goes to the center, it will be absorbed and the boss will have one stack of demonic energy. You don't want this, okay? Now, if the boss don't have any demonic energy on him, he will suffer some mech damage throughout the fight, okay? So, if the boss has one stack of demonic energy and he gets to three stacks, the boss will do a big damage attack that will most likely kill someone in your party if they don't have enough HP. Now, if you hit stage eight, this damage will be a wipe, meaning that you will die regardless of your HP. Also, if you do explode with the mark over your head, you will be giving the boss one stack of demonic energy instantly, okay? So, in order to kill this boss, you do need to cleanse the mark off you, and you do need to block the orbs. Doing that alone will secure you clearing this dungeon. Now, let's take a look at the screen. I did release the orb and look what happened. The orb is traveling to the center and then someone turns around and blocks it. Now, if you're the one who stepped on the pad and sent the orb, you should not block it because you will explode instantly upon touching the orb. When you step on the pad, when you have the host mark above your head, which is the big wheel, you will release that and you will get the after effect buff. Now, this after effect buff will trigger your lefty insignias okay so if you have the lefty insignias equipped if you stack a bunch of them you will get a ton of boss ap now what you want to do to uh increase your dps is that you want to time when you step on the pad with your burst skills okay so if you're a gunner and you're gonna step on the pad you want to step on it right before you hit q so when you step on it and you hit q you're gonna get a big dps increase now remember that you have 20 seconds so if q is not within 20 seconds of this mark it's best to just get to the pad asap and just try to time it another time now i did say you have 20 seconds to take the pad but you don't want to take it too early because keep in mind this mark and orb phase will continue until the boss is dead so if every time someone gets a mark and someone take the pad what will happen is that you will be sending a lot of orbs to the boss that will force you to fail the mechanics so you're gonna slow it down by taking the pad when you have at least 9 to 11 stacks 
of the hose mark okay so that is how you slow down the mechanic phase now if you're having issues with exploding then you can just take the pad as soon as you see the mark over your head it's best to send the orbs instead of exploding because then someone on your team could block the orb but when you explode no one can prevent the boss from getting that orb stack okay now if you're going to be sending a orb meaning you're going to be stepping on the pad you can press ctrl 1 while aiming the boss to trigger the timer feature or the countdown feature of the game this will alert the party members telling them that they have x amount of time to block the orb so keep in mind this boss moves around a lot so sometimes he moves to the corner and then someone release an orb and the party members are not facing that direction and then an orb steps through and it becomes a lot harder to clear so this is how you are gonna do it on higher floors such as stage 8 now when the boss hits 90% he will jump to the middle and he will proceed to do a phase. Now you gotta look out for what he's doing to know exactly what to do after. Now if you see this on the screen which normally happens around 90% where he gets a colored shield you basically have to match his color. Now what do I mean by this? He'll get a colored shield of either yellow or pink. Now you will get a horn above your head in either yellow or pink. Now you need to match his color or else your DPS will be reduced because this is a damage reduction shield unless you and him have the same color. Now if he has pink and you have yellow, you need to jump in order to change your color. Now during this phase, all his attacks will be dodgeable if you jump. So all his attacks, you can jump over them but keep in mind your color will be different from his so you have to jump again maybe one or two times just to get back your color to match him because if you don't your damage will go down you and him need to have the same pink shield and you have the pink horn if he has a yellow shield you need to have a yellow horn over your head and this is very crucial in order to cc him because after this phase there will be a cc bubble around the boss and basically if you don't match his color he will not take the cc now let's talk about the dead zone phase now throughout the fight the boss will jump to the middle and he will aim someone in your party with a dead zone now before he does the dead zone he will cast a shadow at that person now as that person moves around the boss the boss will follow you and after about a couple seconds like about five seconds he will drop a dead zone at that location now he will proceed to aim another person and do this, okay? You will do this for three times. Now after the three times, you need to make sure there's a safe zone on the field for everyone to stand because if you do stand in this dead zone, you will die. Now if you do have a mark above your head, it is best to get to a pad before you're unable to because if a pad is in the dead zone, you'll have to sacrifice some HP or else you blow up the party when the boss does the end of phase animation okay now after the boss drops three dead zone on the field he'll proceed to drop in puddles on all players now right after this is cc bars will open now if you cc him you'll stop him from doing this but if he doesn't have any demonic stack sometimes he'll take mech damage i'm not really sure how this part works but based on observation if he doesn't have any demonic stack he will break down so that is something else to know as you can see here he's charging up the attack and then he just breaks down and you can see a big chunk of his hp has dropped because he suffered mech damage now if you don't do the mechanics correctly he will not take these damage and what will happen is that he will take a longer time to die now keep in mind that as you get close to killing him the orbs will move to him very fast during the fight the boss will whip out this big sword and start to do some big slashes at the tank and at everybody else in the party so it's best to pay attention here now for this boss it is best to stay close to him even during the shadow phase it is best to stay very very close to him because then it'll be super easy to move around okay so here you can see where i dodge around and then the boss will do four big slashes at the tank and at every person in the party here is one two three and four 
Now right after this, the boss will proceed to aim someone in your party on the tank with a slash attack. Now you need everybody in your party to come close to kind of share that slash because if you do get hit more than once, you will go into a day state and you won't be able to defend yourself against incoming attacks. Now you can see there that someone did explode and you can see on the screen that the boss absorbed one demonic energy. Now this dungeon is super super easy, it is not hard at all, it is only hard if you don't know what you're doing. Now if you get the mark, just take the pad, release the ball and hope that your party members block the orb. If they're blocking the orb and you're releasing the mark, this dungeon is a piece of cake. Now the only other way that you can die is if someone explode, if you're stepping in the dead zone and if uh, the boss gets three stacks of the orb and then does the big damage But if you're doing the mechanics, you don't have to worry about that at all You should be okay in this dungeon Okay now if you do have someone in your party who doesn't know the mech and they're gonna be exploding It is best to replace them or to help them with the mechanics because if you are on a weaker character like your alt you don't want to be in the three stack explosion because you will die okay anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more content like this like share and subscribe and goodbye